Hello there, it's Sev from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to the video guide for the Truma Frost Control Dump Valve. This valve is a valve that is going to dump or purge water from your plumbing system or potentially boiler appliance in your motorhome or camper van. This has a manual function, but also is able to operate manually as well. And in this video guide, we're going to show you how this is operated manually and give you some useful advice about what to be mindful of because of the automatic function. So let's get into it. So the Truma Frost Control is identified by this shape, this black housing with the blue diamond control on the top. But there is also a button down here in the bottom corner, as you can see down there. That is actually the main control for the valve itself. Now, the manual control for this is to turn the uh, control on the top of the unit. Now, this actually doesn't just rotate in a nice smooth operation. It actually snaps to a 90 degree position. So, for example, at the moment, you can see that the control is facing this way. If I was to turn it, it's going to snap across like this. And when it does so, it pops the button out at the bottom of the unit. And that will then start draining water out of this unit itself. So right at the bottom of the vehicle where this unit is located, typically. Now, in order to close the valve, uh, you just push the button in. But with the top control still in that position, the button won't be able to stay locked in place. So before pre uh, pressing the button back in, you need to return the top control back to its original position to allow that button to be locked back in place. Now that's the manual operation. And this is something you should do, of course, whenever you're draining down your vehicle, either for uh, just normal, um, you know, interim periods or if you're winterizing the vehicle as well. Now there is a automatic function, as I've mentioned, and that is basically going to uh, be triggered by a very low temperature. So if this unit detects a low temperature, it's going to pop the button out on its own automatically and this is designed to act as a fail safe for your plumbing system or appliances in the event that it happens to get exposed to temperatures unexpectedly or you happen to have forgotten to drain your system manually uh, like i say please don't rely on this this is a fail safe like i say it's not designed to be the primary way of operating or draining your plumbing system this should always be operated manually as a priority the automatic function is a fail safe so with regards to the automatic function it is worth bearing in mind that this can happen whether or not you have water in your system or not so, for example, you may have already drained down uh, the motorhome, uh, which is fine. But of course, if you've left the vehicle with some water in it, um, this could trigger without you being aware. So you may uh, be storing the vehicle at home, for example. You've left some water in it for a day or so because you're going out uh, very, very quickly for a, you know, a quick turnaround for another trip in a few days time. So you haven't drained the vehicle down. Uh, but in the interim, this has actually set itself off because it's experienced some low temperatures and that's going to have dumped the water. Now, if you're unaware of this, of course, you can then go to your next holiday or set up for your next holiday, fill the water tank with the water and turn your water pump on only to find you're now purging everything right at the bottom of the vehicle once more because this valve is open when you assumed it was closed. So it's always worth uh, or I always recommend that whenever you're going to be using the vehicle after a period of inactivity, just double check this valve, make sure the button has been pushed in or it is still pushed in at the bottom there, right down there. Make sure that is pushed in and that means that the valve is closed and you are good to fill up and use your motorhome as normal. Um, so I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, oh, actually, there is another function of this uh, because I don't know if I can move this pipe work here. Or if we can look just behind, you can see at the back of the control there, that's where the pipes come past and through. And these units also typically have a pressure relief as well. So if the pressure builds up too high in the system, this will also release pressure. But that's not something as important to be aware of as the draining down functionality. So uh, that's it for the 
guide on the Truma Frost Control Unit. I hope you found this video useful and informative. I'm Sev, and thank you very much for watching.